Do you feel like you've hit a plateau in your spiritual life, like you're longing for more of God, but aren't sure how to grow deeper in your relationship with Him? Praying for spiritual growth is key to maturing in the kingdom of God. But how do we pray in a way that truly deepens our faith and brings us closer to His heart? Today, we'll explore how to align our prayers with God's will for our spiritual growth using biblical principles to guide us on this journey. The first step in praying for spiritual growth is to ask God for a heart that longs to seek Him. Psalm 42 verse 1 to 2 says, As the deer pants for streams of water, so my soul pants for you, my God. My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. When can I go and meet with God? A heart that seeks God above all else is the foundation of spiritual growth. In your prayer, begin by asking God to deepen your desire for Him. Spiritual growth isn't just about gaining knowledge or doing more religious activities. It's about drawing closer to God. Ask for a thirst and hunger for His presence, just like the psalmist. The more we desire God, the more we grow in our spiritual lives. Spiritual growth requires wisdom and understanding. James 1.5 tells us, If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Growing in the kingdom of God means continually seeking wisdom from His Word and the Holy Spirit. Ask God to open your eyes to spiritual truths that will help you grow. Pray that He would give you understanding as you read Scripture and insight into His ways. Solomon's prayer for wisdom in 1 Kings 3 is a great example of this. Instead of asking for wealth or power, Solomon asked for wisdom to lead God's people, and God granted his request generously. Similarly, When you pray for wisdom in your spiritual journey, God will provide it abundantly. One of the most crucial aspects of spiritual growth is allowing the Holy Spirit to guide and transform us. John 16, 13 says, But when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you into all the truth. The Holy Spirit is our teacher, our guide, and the one who convicts us of sin, encourages us in righteousness, and shapes us into Christ's likeness. When praying for spiritual growth, surrender to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Ask Him to reveal areas in your life that need refining and invite Him to shape your character according to God's will. Spiritual growth isn't about our own strength. It's about the Spirit working within us. Just as Jesus was led by the Spirit during His time on earth, we too must submit to the Spirit's direction in every area of our lives. Spiritual growth begins in the mind. Romans 12 verse 2 reminds us, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Our minds are the battleground for spiritual maturity. When we allow God to transform our thoughts, we begin to see the world through a kingdom lens, and this leads to growth. Ask God to renew your mind daily, transforming your thoughts to reflect His Word. Pray for discernment to reject worldly thinking and embrace God's truth. In Colossians 3, 2, Paul also encourages us to set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Praying for a renewed mind will help you focus on the eternal, allowing you to grow in the knowledge and understanding of God's kingdom. In John 15, 4-5, Jesus tells us to remain in me, as I also remain in you. No branch can bear fruit by itself, it must remain in the vine. Neither can you bear fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you you will bear much fruit. Spiritual growth is reflected in the fruit we produce in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Galatians 5, 22-23 Pray that your life would bear kingdom fruit. Ask God to make you more like Christ, producing fruit that reflects His character and glorifies Him. When you remain connected to Jesus through prayer, study of the Word, and obedience to His commands— fruitfulness will naturally follow. At the heart of spiritual growth is love. Ephesians 3 verse 17 to 19 says, And I pray that you, being rooted and established in love, may have power, together with all the Lord's holy people, to grasp how wide and long and high and deep is the love of Christ, and to know this love that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled to the measure of all the fullness of God. Paul's prayer for the Ephesians was that they would grow in their understanding of Christ's love. This should be our prayer as well. As we grow spiritually, we grow in our capacity to love, both receiving God's love for ourselves 
and showing it to others. Pray that God would root you deeply in His love, allowing you to experience it in greater measure and share it with those around you. True spiritual growth in the kingdom of God involves humility and service. In Matthew 20, verse 26 to 28, Jesus teaches, Whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant, and whoever wants to be first must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. If you want to grow spiritually, pray for a servant's heart. Ask God to help you follow Christ's example of humility and service. Growth in the kingdom is not about elevating ourselves. It's about lifting others up. Look for ways to serve those around you. And as you do, you'll find that your spiritual maturity deepens. Jesus himself said in Matthew 23, 12, For those who exalt themselves will be humbled, and those who humble themselves will be exalted. Pray that God would help you walk in humility, always seeking to serve rather than be served. Spiritual growth isn't a one-time event. It's a continuous journey of seeking God, submitting to His will, and allowing the Holy Spirit to transform us from the inside out. As you pray for spiritual growth, remember that it's not about perfection. It's about progress. Every day, take a step closer to God through your prayers, your study of His Word, and your obedience to His guidance. Reflect on these principles and start applying them in your daily prayers. Whether you're asking for wisdom, surrendering to the Holy Spirit, or praying for fruitfulness, you are taking intentional steps toward deeper spiritual growth in the kingdom of God. So let's commit today to pray prayers that open the door for spiritual growth and allow God to do the deep work in our hearts, shaping us into vessels that reflect His glory and love. Your journey of growth is a beautiful one, and God is ready to walk with you every step of the way.